we see the Internet of Things as a huge opportunity. Um, and the work that we do in relation to IoT um, very much mimics our core business. So in our core business, we work with clients as they define their business strategy. Um, they consider the systems and capabilities that they need to deliver on that business strategy and having implemented those systems and capabilities, then running them. And the work that we're doing with our clients in relation to IoT mirrors that. So we're working with clients as they define their strategy and the opportunities that IoT presents. Um, we're working with them in the implementation of the technologies that underpin IoT, such as big data, digital analytics, and mobile. Um, and then also following the implementation of, of that technology and the IoT platforms, um, then often we find ourselves in the position of running those systems and those platforms that underpin IoT for our clients. We're working with Electric Ireland to pilot the implementation of a connected home solution. Um, so in its initial guise, um, that enables uh, customers that are part participating in the trial to get real-time energy consumption uh, feedback information and also to have um, direct remote control from wherever they are in the world um, of various appliances in the, in, in the home. Um, we see the connected home uh, platform as being um, a very interesting one looking into the future and specifically in relation to our uh, energy clients, utility clients such as um, Electric Island. Um, as I talked previously about hybrid business models evolving then, we're working with clients around the globe and other energy clients for example at looking at how they can provide various products and services using a connected home platform. Initially probably the focus will be on, on energy. Um, in some markets, for example, um, then domestic solar power is very popular. Energy storage is now becoming available on the market and using a connected home platform to optimise energy consumption in the home where you're taking some of the power from the grid and some of the power um, from your own uh, solar powers and, and uh, solar panels and also a, a storage capability via a battery, for example, in your garage. And optimising that, that utilisation of that power is great potential for connected home. One of the opportunities that IoT presents is really the, the merging of industries and hybrid business models. Um, and because we work across multiple industries, um, then we're able to bring our experience from different industries to bear. So um, if I just cite a, a couple of examples of clients that we're working with, um, one would be General Electric GE, and, and specifically their aircraft engine uh, division. Um, so what we're doing with GE, uh, actually as part of a joint venture, is we're now extending um, what was aircraft engine manufacturing into proactive, predictive maintenance of GE um, engines on behalf of their airline clients. But then going a step further and using the IoT to underp underpin um, a business service uh, that GE and ourselves now offer to airlines around the globe to um, optimise their overall operation and not just planes that are utilising um, that have GE engines but across all aircraft manufacturers as well and just factoring in for example um, weather events or engineering events, aircraft faults, how can um, uh, those airlines most effectively manage around that. Um, and we're working with GE to proact to provide that as a, as a managed service. Um, other examples would be Fiat Chrysler, um, where we're working alongside uh, the client have developed a connected car uh, platform. Um, another couple of examples would be um, a connected mine solution, um, where we're working with some of big global miners, and we've implemented a, a, a platform, a connected mine platform, that is utilising IoT technologies with thousands of sensors installed on equipment and vehicles in major mine operations. Um, I think in, in Ireland what we're seeing now is, is clients really starting to want to understand the potential of IoT in relation to their industries. Um, as is often the case then different industries adopt different technologies um, at, at a different pace. Um, and I think the clients that I'm working with currently are, are really starting to um, get an understanding of what the potential could be, what the impact on their industry um, is going to be, and then starting to undertake 
proof of concepts or trials. Um, so taking early early strides um, along what I'm sure will be um, a very interesting uh, journey in the years ahead. In relation to global trends, there's four things that um, I would highlight. So first of all, we're seeing our, our clients really starting to think unconventionally. So thinking outside of their uh, traditional um, industry definition. Um, we're also seeing product manufacturers now offering services um, often around those, those products. So the example I cited being General Electric, being a, a classic example of that where you know, it's an aircraft manufacturer but now looking to offer um, services around airline logistic optimization services. So um, a third trend that we're seeing then is uh, data sharing with partners. We see that the true value of IoT um, can only be achieved if there is a breakdown in barriers between organisations and our clients are, are, are willing to, to share data um, with other organisations and partners. Organisations are now treating the services they're providing as R&D for their core products. Um, because in the provision of those services, for example, um, the work that we're doing with GE, also work that we're doing with uh, Hyundai um, uh, via the connected ship pla ships platform that we developed, Hyundai are the world's largest shipbuilding um, organisation, then because of all the data that is being collected, um, ostensibly through the provision of an IoT service, an IoT platform, but they're learning an awful lot about their products. So utilising IoT as R&D for their core product set.